good day to you, LHS. I'm Grace. And I'm Samantha. Today oh. is 2000, June 10th, 2016. And, and this, this is your KLHS broadcast. Welcome back. Let's start this week's broadcast with some announcements. The 2016-2017 Blue Jay Nation memberships are now available. This year, parent and student memberships are bundled. The Blue Jay Nation kickoff is on August 18th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Relay for Life of Liberty returns on June 25th at the Discovery Middle School track field from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. LHS will host open registration for the 2016-2017 school year on Tuesday, August 2nd, and Wednesday, August 3rd, from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now let's go over to Trinity with our weather forecast. Thank you, Grace. Today's forecast is quite nice, with a projected high of 93 degrees, humidity percentage at 52. There'll be a nice gentle breeze from the south with a 15 mile per hour wind. This morning, we're starting out with 69 degrees from 4 to 7 a.m. By 1 p.m., we're up to 84 degrees. At 4 p.m., we will peak at 86 and see a decline to 80 around 10 p.m. this evening. This weekend, Saturday, we will be featuring a high of 94, low of 70, with clear sunny skies. Sunday, we'll also have a high of 94, low of 71. Make sure to wear those shades because the sun will be out and about this week. Have a great weekend. Back to the front desk. Thanks, Trinity, for that fantastic weather forecast. Up next, we have an exciting story on 4-H. Missouri 4-H held its annual Teen Congress Camp at the MU campus on June 1st to June 3rd. Missouri 4-H is a program that was started in the 1930s to teach kids new farming methods, but over the years has grown to include a varied set of projects, from raising cattle to computer programming. This has allowed 4-H to include a diverse set of people, each with a unique background and set of ideals that guide them. The annual Teen Congress allows them all to meet at one place, and discuss topics that affect State 4-H as a whole, such as picking state representatives to act as their voice on the state council. The camp also has several workshops that give kids skills that they can use for the rest of their life. These include workshops discussing history, learning to build, and how to be a good leader. The camp also had an evening dance that allowed you to socialize with not only people from your region, but also with people from all over the state. Kids at this camp also got their first taste of an election, with candidates running for seats on Congress, such as President, and then having the candidates give a speech on why they are the best choice for the job. In conclusion, this camp is one of the many that Forage supplies to prepare children for the future. Grace, wasn't that a great story from Warren? Fantastic. Now for another intriguing story on riddles. I'm Izzy. <laughs> what has a foot but no leg? A chicken. No, the answer is a snail. What has a foot but no legs? A ruler. A snail. Oh. What comes down but never goes up? What comes down but never goes up? I don't know. <laughs> the sky? Rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does come up pre precipitation uh, and, and uh, evaporation. What goes up when rain comes down? The feelings of people who love rain. <laughs> An umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Travels around the world but stays in one spot. The moon. A stamp. <laughs> I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? A dog. Okay, I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? Candle? Yep. 
Yeah. Okay. Wait, what has know? one eye but cannot see? Uh. Oh, I know this. No, I don't know this. A uh, needle. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I have it, I don't share it. If I share it, I don't have it. What is it? Money. A secret. Yeah, I knew that was wrong, but I was like, ew, my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for that story on riddles. Grace, I have a riddle for you. All right, what do you have for me? It has no lock and has no key, but a golden treasure lies within. What is it? Me. It's me, right? It's an egg. Oh, let's head over to Riley and Jacob with what's going on today in the world of sports. Thank you, Samantha and Grace. I'm Jacob Weaver. And I'm Riley Wolf. In Kansas City Royals news, Yordano Ventura roared back to life Tuesday night when after missing Manny Machado twice with brushed back pitches during his second at-bat, he planted a 99-mile-per-hour fastball in Machado's ribs in the third. This led to a fight, and the Royals are now considering letting Ventura go. Wednesday, June 8th, the Golden State Warriors lost to the Cleveland Cavaliers 90-120 to in Game 3 of the NBA Finals. With some football news, the Cowboys are missing linebacker Rolando McClain at practice again. The linebacker is in Alabama for unspecified personal reasons. In UFC news, Ronda Rousey landed herself in Forbes' highest paid female athletes for 2016. In soccer news, strikes hit trains to France's National Stadium. Train services to France's National Stadium have been sent into disarray before the European Championship opening game it hosts tonight. In softball news, Oklahoma defeated Auburn, claiming their third softball national championship 2-1 to one on Wednesday night. I'm Jacob Weaver. And I'm Riley Wolf. Back to Grace and Samantha at the front desk. This was a very exciting week in sports. According to Trinity, it's getting hot outside, so don't forget during the summer to stay hydrated and put on some sunscreen. Have fun and stay safe. That's all for your KLHS broadcast. From Samantha and Grace. Thank, Thank you to, to Trinity, Riley, and, and Jacob. And we'll see you next week.